Bem. Babe, mm -hmm. are you ready to tell them what happened? What? Are you ready to tell them what happened? <sighs> yeah, well, give me a minute. Let me, like, get ready or fix myself or something and all that stuff. All right, guys. Be right back. You mind to talk a minute? Was this what you was planning? Be honest, you want it Come on, get up, I want it Hands full of innocence Touching you when I sin Admit it, you've been with it No witnesses committed At first it felt so wrong They wanted us no more The love we have held on There's nothing breaking us up Steady wanted what we were Only you're just enough Let me take your hand Babe, the moment has come. The reason people clicked on this video, go ahead and explain yourself. All right, guys. So, first, let me start off by saying everything went by so fast. Like, it didn't, babe. Mm -hmm. So, y'all, I messed up my back. Um, not Nothing too, too bad. Um, but we were working out yesterday, and I'd say we had like a good hour in. And um, I ended up doing, because I was doing like legs and stuff, but then I was also doing like cardio, a little bit of that. And, um, you know, I had the resisting bands. I had extra heavy resisting bands on my thighs as I was doing squats. Like, you know, when you go side by side and you, like, obviously bend low because you're doing squats. I was doing it, and um, I don't know what happened. Like I said, it went by so quick. I think I dipped too, too, too like, far down or something. But as soon as I dipped down, y'all, like, I kid you not, you were doing your own thing. Tree Tree didn't know it was that bad, okay? So I dipped down. I and thought she was... Sorry, babe, but I was going to say I thought you were being dramatic because if y'all know Riri, she's very dramatic and over-exaggerative, so... I and I did over-exaggerate, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, so... I over-exaggerated because I was scared, y'all, because this was a pain I never felt. Like, no, but wait, I was going to say when you first, like, reacted to, to when you dipped and you got, you know, you took off your bands and mm -hmm. you, like, were making that, like, yeah. hurt face, I thought you were just, like out of breath or like you know like you push yourself with right. the last set that you you know it was like hard you know you know when you do your last set and you be like ah and it hurts or it burns but yeah. you just push yourself that's what i thought you were doing but apparently it was worse than that yeah it was worse than that yo and um it was crazy because when i dipped down i looked over at my wife because i felt a pain that i never felt before y'all like i when i once i dipped down i couldn't go back up like I felt like I was stuck and it was just a sharp pinching pain. That's all I remember. And I looked back at my wife. I think she was doing the drum ropes at the time. Were you doing drum ropes? You were doing something behind me. I forgot what I was doing. And I looked at you and I said, I can't move. And you're like, come on, babe. Like, cause you know, I over exaggerate a lot. So I guess it's like a very bad thing. But anyway, this is just me, right? So I was really freaking out. Like I was actually scared y'all cause the pain I felt, I never felt before. So when I looked back at her, I said, I can't, I can't move. She was like, what do you mean you can't move? And it like the pain just started like escalating. So I took off my waist trainer. I took off the resisting bands. I even stripped like I took off my hoodie because uh, I was working out with my hoodie and I just had like a sport around my shorts on. And I was just like freaking out. I was I was telling her I was like I can't move. And y'all, I was in this position like this. I was like I can't move. Like I can't bend. Like I can't move. So I was really scared because you know it's not a good thing to mess up with your back or your, your spinal cord or whatever. So I was freaking out and I was just like walking. And I was like, I can't move, and I was I came inside the house to get some cool air, because I felt like I was getting hot. I was already panicking. My wife was getting scared, and she saw. She was me. really panicking. She when she saw me strip, she was like, Oh shoot, something was going on. So, um, should I get in depth or should we get something to eat first? I feel like I'm starting to vlog talking too much. Let's go grab something. Okay, yeah. Well, pause, y'all. We have stuff to do, so, and yeah, I have a, I have some crutches, y'all, because I needed it to help me. But I'm explain that when. Mm-hmm. She can't even really walk. Yeah, but okay. I, mean, I can walk, but it's gonna take me a while. So these crutches really do help. We're checking out this breakfast spot right now. Um, on the way there, we've never tried it, but um, they have pretty good reviews. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go try it. I saw the pictures of the foods and stuff, and it looks really good. So hopefully, it is good. Hopefully, their coffee is good, cause you already know I'm. I'm gonna need to order my coffee. And babe, we we haven't been to, out to breakfast in a while. Yeah. yeah. 
So it's gonna be nice to go on a little breakfast date or whatever. So, and y'all, you're not gonna see me much on the camera other than me explaining what happened because y'all, I'm looking like I need a whole lot of sleep, and that's because I do. Babe, I've been taking. Riri hasn't been like sleeping like well, y'all, because her back. So she hasn't been sleeping well. So that's why. I swear, I think every night I would have like at least max three hours of sleep. Cause I just, I'm in so much pain and I just like let my body like tell me when to sleep. I don't force myself. Cause when I try to, it's, 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 it's just hard y'all like. Yeah. So this place is called Neighbors. Um, I don't know what I want to eat yet, but I guess we got to see their menu and stuff. Yeah. I'm a picky eater, especially when it comes to breakfast. I need something like real good. Yeah. Like I can't, you can't mess up breakfast like that for me. guys so we got here and it's looking pretty packed um i told riri i said right now it's like 10 30 a.m and i told her i said you know the breakfast drink shouldn't be packed because it's you know it's a weekday so people should be at work but shoot i guess i was wrong um <laughs> yeah, this yeah. place looks extremely packed so i think we're gonna go to plan b so we just ended up coming to panera y'all um we actually wanted sushi but the sushi place doesn't open till like an hour later and riri and i are starving right now so we're like, you know what? Panera's down the street. They have some good breakfast sandwiches. Um, I actually like their hazelnut coffee. So let's just go to Panera. So that's where we are. And yeah, we're about to go eat some good. Got broccoli cheddar soup with a side of sandwich. So, oh my gosh. Yep, and she got the bottle. I'm putting you on, y'all. This is the stuff right here. All right, guys. I promise we are gonna finish the story. We're gonna get back to it. I promise. But we just gotta make one more stop at Walmart, and then we'll continue what this whole video is about. Oh, my poor wife, y'all. I feel so bad for her. Not to mention that door where we parked was closed, so we gotta walk all the way over here now. <sighs> By the way, y'all, I know y'all looking at this like, dang, that is a lot of horn punch, but this is for Kevin, my mom's boyfriend, not for us, okay? Just to make that clear. And just like that, we are on the way home. Let's go. Babe, you can't take a nap. You gotta finish your story and tell them what happened. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so, like I wasn't crying or nothing, but I, I kept telling her like, I'm not over exaggerating. I like really can't move. I don't know what happened, but I couldn't move. So I started freaking out and she was freaking out too. I eventually came inside the house and I went in the restroom and she, she got like this paper or whatever. what you get? She was fanning me with something envelope an envelope and i really needed it y'all because i was really like getting hot and i was already like feeling tingly in my fingers like i was feeling like some she was about to pass out yeah. like i felt like i was about to pass out and mind you y'all like i'm still like i can't move right and then i started feeling like I, like I need to throw up i ended up throwing up but i couldn't throw up like directly in the toilet because i was still she couldn't bend over because the fully. pain yeah so i was still in a slouching position and I know it was disgusting and my wife was like, oh babe, that was disgusting. But I told her, I said, I needed to throw up because I felt like I couldn't breathe at that point. She literally threw up standing straight right. up, straight up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yo, I couldn't, couldn't bend down, nothing like that. 
Um, I had a hard time trying to sleep because I couldn't lean on my left. So I figured out that it was my left lower back. Um, uh, she had to help me get dressed. She had to help me like sit, on, sit, sit, sit down on the toilet, toilet. To the restroom, <laughs> and then she had to help me lay down, get up a bit. I'm and still then, helping her do all that. Yeah, she's still. I, I've gotten better, y'all. It's already like day three. I, it happened Wednesday, and then Thursday, which was yesterday, I ended up going to the hospital, the VA hospital, and um, they ended up um giving me a um this pain stimulator it's like a suction that goes in your back or whatever and it gives you like this um it, it was weird i've never done it before but it really helped it felt weird at first um but it really helped and then he had an ice pack on top of it and then he ended up telling me that i pulled a muscle and it was pretty bad y'all because in on my back you'll see like the right side lower part of my back wasn't swollen and you could tell that my other side of my back was like swollen day like you even saw it mm -hmm. it was just it just looked weird and yeah i ended up straightening a lower part of my back which was i did not expect that that to happen to me working out trying to do that but um yeah i'm getting better y'all it takes me like two years to go up and down that stairs but it's getting better and um, <laughs> two years. i'm just improving i feel like i'm improving so yeah um i got crutches because it helps me walk i i can't really like put all that pressure on especially my left foot because it's on my left lower back so when i put pressure on my left my left leg or whatever it's just it hurts so much um but it's getting bearable the last two days when i was with sleep it was very unbearable like i was tossing and turning waking her like up every position hurt huh right i would uh, wake her up in the middle of the night telling her like i can't move or whatever and i'll have to wake her up to use the restroom but um i've gotten better um hopefully tomorrow i don't get to use the crutches i'm trying not to i'm trying not to baby it but then again i'm trying not to let it get worse you know what i'm saying so i'm trying to like balance it out but um, for the most part, I'm good. Last night, I had about three hours of sleep. But the first night, it was like an hour, an hour and a half. The first night, I actually hurt myself. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm getting good and, you know, taking meds when the pain is unbearable. But I'm I'm good. I just don't ever want to have this experience again, but I'm good. Right. So she's still recovering for right now. Guys, I do not have a workout partner. Like, I'm be working out by myself yeah. now. And I don't know when my wife's going to heal. But yeah, that's basically the scoop and, of what happened and, you know... That's kind of the reason why we haven't picked up the camera in a, in a while, in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is like painful, like Trina saw it in the look. And when he was pushing, y'all, when he was like, he he put like a cream, like a, it's like a cream, almost like icy hot, but not really like icy hot. Put a cream and he was like pushing down on it and he said you were extremely tense in that one lower part. Like, and I can tell because I'm swollen too. And he was just like, I need you to like fight it. And he was like, just pushing it down. And y'all, I was like on that bed, like going like this, like punching on the on the bed because i'm like oh my gosh like i wanted to scream so bad but i just fought it and yeah i mean i'm feeling a lot better i go to bed with a nice pack on my back every night so the real mvp is my wife y'all she was since it happened she has like helped me like to the restroom get dressed put my own food like i, I barely move because of her so like i love you babe i appreciate you for that but yeah i'm good i'm no, me too. Day three and I'm still pushing and it's getting better, so. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. I just want to thank God and, you know, shout him out. Shout out the man upstairs for keeping my wife safe. And, you know, obviously that could have gone way left, but, you know, God is on our side. And thankfully he kept her safe and it's just a strain uh, rather than, like, you know, her messing up her spinal cord and getting paralyzed or whatever the case may be so it just could have gone worse yeah exactly and i'm thankful that it, it's it's what it is right now exactly yeah we're gonna go ahead and close today's video while rifey recovers and hopefully we'll be back uh in full mode you know in the next couple of days but please bear with us and just thank you guys so much for your patience and your continued love and support stay tuned for future videos uh right now we're like kind of super busy with a lot of stuff and you know wife is recovering and all that other stuff but we will try to we will try our best to be pushing on these videos for you guys but we appreciate you guys so much shout out of the day goes to nefertiti i think that's how you say it shout out to you thanks so much for the love and support and to all your art gang members we can't thank you guys enough true tree and riri we love you guys and we are out see you on the next video peace and god bless you mind it talk a minute was this what you was planning? Be honest, you want it Come on, get up, I want it Hands full of innocence